So for the first guest of, uh, of this weekend uh, is this incredible artist known by the name of Layla Baines. Uh, so I'm proud to announce Layla Baines joining the Galaxy Man Show for the first guest of this week. Uh, so yeah, everyone get behind Layla Baines. I'm about to add Layla into the live now and have a chat with Layla. So yeah, here we go, adding Layla in right now. Hi. Hello, Layla. How's it going? Good, how are you? Really good, thanks. I just want to say first up, thank you so much for taking the time to join my show. It is such an incredible pleasure having you a part of the Galaxy Man show for tonight. Uh, to people that don't know who you are, Layla, if you can give like a bit of backstory about yourself and then we'll dive right into the questions. First of all, I wanted to say thank you so much for having me tonight. I'm really excited to have a chat. So um, for those who don't know me, my name is Layla Baines. I'm a country folk singer-songwriter from Albury. And for the past, I want to say 18 months, I've been performing around the River Arena at various festivals and events. So we'll dive right into the questions now, Layla. So for my very first question, so you've actually performed with the CMA Academy. Like, what was that, like, what was that whole experience like for you getting to perform with the CMA Academy? And just like, what was like the whole experience like in general? It was, it was, it was amazing. I can't even describe, words don't put it to justice, how incredible the whole week was. And at the end of the week, we got to have our graduation concert at Moonshiners. And playing with a phenomenal band was absolutely amazing. And many of the graduates can attest to how amazing the whole event was run. So, so on to my very next question. So you've also performed a lot of great cover songs. And for the first cover I'm going to mention is Casey Chambers. Like, what's it like performing a Casey Chambers cover song? And like, what does Casey Chambers, like, how does Casey Chambers inspire you as an artist? Well, as Casey Chambers is such a big inspiration for me. She is one of the reasons why I chose um, country music. I got to see her perform in Echuca earlier this year and she was phenomenal. I got to hear her Eminem cover, um, I think it's Lose Yourself. And really, I love her uh, performance skills because you can really believe every single word she's saying. And I love her storytelling in her songwriting and telling her stories and her experiences. It really is something really special about her music. So on to my very next question for you. So you've also performed Molly T Tuttle. Uh, which is another incredible artist. Uh, you've performed her cover songs also. Like, what's it like getting to perform a Molly Tuttle song? And how does Molly Tuttle inspire you as an artist? Well, it's a big privilege being able to play some of her music. As a musician, she is incredible. She, is a, she plays banjo, she sings and is an amazing guitarist. She has from starting from such a humble beginning in her um, band, The Tuttles, to becoming a renowned um, bluegrass uh, guitarist is really incredible and ex inspiring to many artists like me from starting from such um, a humble beginning to achieving a lot in music. So, so on to my very next question. So you've also performed Don McLean uh, cover, cover. Like, what's it like getting to perform a Don McLean cover and how does Don McLean inspire you as an artist? I love playing any Don McLean song I can at any chance. Um, he's definitely not really a country um, singer, but uh, I still love playing his songs. Two of his songs are really special to me, Vincent and a song called Did You Know? And he has such a, an amazing storytelling in his songs he's able to paint such an immersive picture in all his songs and it really is something special so on to my very next question so you've also performed a dolly parton song jolene a great classic song like how does dolly parton inspire you as an artist well i've always loved dolly parton my mom went to her concert her last concert she had in australia the blue smoke one 
And it's funny, she brought home a CD and I've been hooked ever since on Dolly Parton. She is such an incredible singer, an incredible musician, and she's definitely, she's actually the main reason why I've started to do country music because she's something like a big part of my childhood. So I'll answer my very next question. So what made you decide as an as a person and like especially as an artist to get into the whole music process in the first place? So it's a funny story. My grandma at her retirement village, they were having a karaoke night and of course my grandma was like, come on, sing a few songs, sing a few songs. So that was the first time I sang out in public. I think I was... 11 or 12 I was always very scared to perform out I only like singing in my bedroom by myself so definitely when I sung those few songs it was definitely a big eye-opener and I was like this is what I want to do for the rest of my life so on to my very next question so with performing like in front of crowds and the whole connection side of things like what does performing and connection mean to you especially as an artist I think w one of the main reasons is me being able to tell my story through my own songs, through other artists' songs, and being able to connect with um, live audiences, and also being able to connect with other um, young musicians as well has been something that's really special, especially at the Academy. So on to my very next question. So if you could work with any top three music artists in the music industry, who would they be and why? That's a hard one. I, I have a very big list of who I'd want to work with. But I think it would have to be Molly Tuttle for her, I think, her instrumental skills. Um, Don McLean for his songwriting and John Williamson for his, I love his unique storytelling about um, stories in Australia. So that would have to be my top three. So I'm sorry, very next question. So if you could go on tour to any country in the world, like as an artist, like where would your dream destination be and why? Mm -hmm. That's hard. I think, honestly, I think I'd want to tour in Australia in my own country first and spread my music to all the states. And um, I think I would really want to perform in Tamworth one day at the um, at the festival. That would be something um, would be a big bucket list thing. So on to my very next question. So if you give your future self advice, like what would your future self advice be to your future self? And if you could go to any decade in time and space, what decade would it be and why? Hmm, I, I would probably just say and keep being myself and don't let anyone stop you for the advice for my future self and I think if I could go back to any decade I would probably pick the 80s because I like a lot of old country music I like new and modern country music but a lot of my um, country music older sort of style then either they're not alive or they're not touring anymore so i would be going to a lot of concerts if i could go back to the 80s awesome so on to my very next question so what would like your advice be to any upcoming artists like yourself that want to get into the music industry and yeah what advice would you give them honestly i think i would just say to perform out as much as possible if that's just open mics or even just busking in your main street, it definitely has helped me in the last 18 months because I didn't just start in the last 18 months. I have been practicing my music for a few years and I regret now not starting sooner because it definitely has improved my skills better. What would you say like the positive and negatives are into the music industry and how do you get through those like negative moments as an artist? Well, honestly, I think there is so many positives that it sort of outweighs that because I, if there was, if I just focused on the negatives, then it's really, and it gets you down and it's hard. But I think that being able to share your music with like live audiences and being able to connect with some, with people are a really big thing to me. I would say maybe for the negatives that you might get people coming up to you and saying that they didn't really like it 
or people might underestimate you and don't think you're going to do well and might they won't believe in you but really you've just got to be true to yourself and believe in yourself and surround yourself with people who support you why do you think people should listen to your music like what what do you want to inspire people out of your music when you make original songs or like cover songs like what do you want to inspire people out of that honestly i think i just want to connect um a story and tell unique storylines to people and i really want to focus on um i won't really want to write a, like a biography sort of song and talk about someone's life because i think that's a really special way to dedicate a song to someone so what like can people expect like next from layla for t the rest of 2024 onwards like what can people expect next well um i have a few exciting things coming up and one of them is next Thursday, I have um, been invited, luckily, to the TEDx in Griffith. So I, have, I get to perform an original song, which is super, super exciting. I'm really grateful for the opportunity. And um, at the end of this year, in November, I'm opening um, for our regional cancer facility. We're having a fundraiser and I'm opening for Sarah Store, which is a very pinch me moment because it's super exciting to open for such a successful and amazing artist. And um, in 2025, I'm going to the Tamworth Country Music Festival, which will be my first I get to meet up with all the acad academy graduates again, which will be really nice. Awesome. Well, I, I would love to ask Layla, uh, would you have time to perform either a cover or an original by any chance? Definitely, definitely. Awesome. I'll just get my guitar. So I picked this one and it is an original and it's called little town of nowhere and basically it's about a little um, town that had become a mining town in the gold rush in Australia and how the residents of the town loved the town for during and after its golden years. So this one's called little town of nowhere. Pickaxe swing on the face of the earth. Ship so full with an eagle, old set for the sea. Prospector and a millionaire, dreams of life, spirits high. Miners and their ladies came to claim their part of the pool. They just fell up with a little pen and a pile of dust. One hit solid gold and sent the rest toward our way. Little town of nowhere, it's driving day. It's past golden age now, the town's crumbling down. Another red for sale sign. But I still want to call this home. Town of nowhere, you're my home. So they struggle through the dark. Clutching a rusty pin through the night Let his back home, promises of gold They say take my word, darling, I'll be back before you know Well, the town folk found their feet again Some found gold, some broke even Some stayed a little while longer See the windows down in the bar Hear the miners laughing hard Yeah, 
after all the rain Storm my setting For it's past golden age now The town's crumbling down Another red for sale Travelers with their dirty hands cowered high and low. They cut their beds, they folded in, and went down the rusty road again. As we watched the miners make their tracks with a little fortune and a horse and car, that little town lost its shine. It's past golden age now, the town's crumbling down. Another red for sale side, but I still want to call this home. I'm tired of no way you're my home. I'm tired of no way you're my home. Oh my god, wow. Layla, wow. Um, can I just say thank you so much for taking the time to join my show tonight. It means so much. Um, do you have any like last final thoughts or anything that you'd like to share to people on the show? I would like to say everyone who's been watching, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for staying around to listen. And thank you so much for having me tonight. It's been really fun.